What's up everybody, this is Danny. Welcome to my first setup tour video. This is my ultimate 5K dual monitor setup. This took a long time to build because I wanted it to be perfect. I went for a simple, clean, and natural look with a darker theme. I think it looks amazing, so let's jump right in. I've had this amazing desk and monitors for a while, then Human Scale gave me their Freedom Headrest, M8 monitor arm, and Element Disc Task Light to try, and Colorware and Grove Made came through on the keyboard and trackpad, and the rest is history. The foundation of this setup is the BDI SQL Lift Desk in a natural walnut finish. I get questions about this desk all the time. This is a premium sit and stand desk with multiple programmable settings. And I chose this desk because it has a very unique tempered glass matte black top on it. And I think the color combo with the walnut finish is incredible. The motor is incredibly smooth. It's easy to control and it's almost silent. It's one of the best motors that I have used on a sit and stand desk so far. Some people love them and some people hate them, but I find it useful for breaking up long editing cycles and research sessions. It's good for you to get up once in a while and I find it that it makes me a little bit more productive at times. I do fight getting up sometimes because I think I found the most comfortable desk chair ever and this is the Human Scale Freedom Headrest all wrapped up in this beautiful dark brown leather. I've had a ton of office chairs and none of them have been this good. It's got perfect lumbar support. It's fully adjustable in every way from the headrest to the back support. I've been using this for months now and loving it. And sometimes I just kick back and catch up on my favorite videos in this chair. It's just too comfortable. This is a high-end chair and while it's not the cheapest option, it's worth every penny in my opinion. The dual monitors you see here are the LG Ultrafine 5K. Since this is a Mac setup, this was the perfect choice for me. This is the same panel pretty much as in the 5K iMac, so the resolution is incredible for video editing. It's color accurate, it gets nice and bright, and while I admit they're not the most attractive monitors in the world, I think they fit this setup really well. To give it a cleaner look, I took them off the stands and placed them on the Human Scale Freedom dual monitor arms. The install was super easy. It's just a clamp mechanism and it's very sturdy and also fully adjustable to whatever angle you need for the best viewing angle. All of this is powered by the 15 inch MacBook Pro with touch bar on a rain design space gray M stand connected with two Thunderbolt 3 cables and that's it. The MacBook is fully powered by those cables, so for video editing, this gives me a ton of real estate. I can see my Final Cut Pro timeline on one display and see my video and color information on the other, and this is the ultimate way to edit videos. Most people struggle with cable management, but for me, it was super easy. The cables from the monitor just got tucked into the built-in slots on the monitor arm, and the BDI SQL Lift is unlike any other desk that I've ever had. There are so many cable management features that are built in right on the leg itself. Even on the bottom of the desk, cables for the motor are notched into the desk for a super clean look. The motor is tucked into the frame and all the cables are held together with built-in straps. And there's even a provided cable tray that you can mount on the side of your choice to pack away your power strip and all of your plugs so basically the cable management is taken care of for you. If you want an all-in-one solution, you won't be disappointed with the SQL lift. All you see visible is just one cable going into the wall. To get more storage on my SQL lift, I went for the optional drawer. You don't see this much on sit and stand desks, so I was excited to put it on. I'm able to keep all of my accessories in here that I need right away. So with that MacBook Pro, you know you have to have some dongles. That's just a reality. I thought about keeping my MacBook in here instead of putting it on a stand because there are cutouts for cables, but I was afraid of the ventilation and thermals, but you can easily put hubs or docks in here with no problems. I also went with the side file cabinet storage option. It matches perfectly and also extends my desk area some. And of course, instead of files, I keep a lot of my tech in here, stuff that I'm reviewing or miscellaneous stuff. It's really handy. You can extend the desk even more on the opposite side, but this room the desk is in doesn't support that without blocking the door, so I decided to use it as a secondary desktop. I have my Microsoft Surface Book here, Amazon Echo Dot, and my test headphones of the month. And above that, I have the Nanoleaf Aurora lighting system there. You might have seen this in some other setups before, but if you haven't seen it yet, it's a modular lighting setup that you can control with your phone, and even has HomeKit support for voice control with your iPhone. There are a ton of color options and presets. I like the unique look that it gives the office, especially in the dark. 
I added a Lifex Z light strip to the desk to give it the ability to add some color to it depending on my mood, but most of the time I just leave it off to keep that clean and natural look. On the right is my Wu Audio headphone stand. This is the black model, and this thing is built like a tank with its full metal build. It's easy to adjust the height of the stand. It holds two headphones, and right now I am rocking the fan favorites, the Audio-Technica M50X, with a sick black and gold dbrand skin on it, and one of my favorites of all time, the Oppo PM3s. For the inputs, I decided to go wireless for the cleanest look. I decided to stick with the Apple Magic Keyboard and the Apple Magic Trackpad. Both of these are custom colored in matte black by Colorware. They look absolutely incredible and match this setup so well. The walnut accessories for the keyboard and trackpad are beautifully constructed by Grove Made. They don't affect the function of the keyboard or trackpad and tie in that walnut and black theme perfectly. But if you prefer maple, Grove Made also has that available. I made a separate video about this keyboard combo, so I'll link that below if you want to see more about it. I wanted to add a lamp to complete the setup, and I think sometimes this is the hardest thing to do, and I think I found the perfect one. This is the Jet Black Human Scale Element Disc LED Light. It fits the modern look of the desk. It gives me the flexibility to charge my smartphones or tablets with the built-in USB port, and also an AC plug just in case I want to charge my camera batteries or whatever I want. It has a 330 lumen output with only using 7 watts of power and you can turn on the lamp with the power button or change the brightness easily but the mode I keep it in is where it uses the built-in sensor so the lamp turns itself off when you're not there but when it senses that you are there it turns on the lamp automatically. This is an awesome feature. So what do you guys think of this black and walnut themed dual 5k monitor setup? Let me know in the comment section below. Everything that you see here will be linked below if you're interested. And let me know if you want to see more setup videos on this channel. I have another one ready to go. So make sure you hit that like button if you want to see it. Share this with your friends and subscribe for more cool videos like this. And I will see you guys in the next one.